Welcome, welcome, welcome. Kindly subscribe to my channel. Please help me to share on all social media platforms. Please, I'm not proud. Okay, first on our list today, Reno, Reno Homokuri, suited his head. Let me read. Dear men, never say happy birthday to your parents with a test and to your girlfriend with an alert. It is an evil recipe. Says Reno. He says further that send the test to your girlfriend and they allowed to your parents. Money spent on a girlfriend attracts no blessing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you guys think? Um, to me, I think he's saying the truth. I mean, how can your home parents and they have no tests? No. You can as well balance it, you know. Money for your girlfriend, money for your parents. If the money is there, not that. Test, no test help now. Come on. Okay, the next one, Bob Risky again. In the news, over allegations of the same assault with this over um this highway coast lady. Alright, it was gathered that um you know a lot of news has been going on about this issue for some days now. This bashing and bashing back to back from the lady exposing Bob Risky and all that. And Bob Ruski came out to say everything that the lady is all like, nothing of sort happened. But then, the news again is that um, there's this comedian who supported Bob Ruski over this issue. He came out to support Bob Ruski, and he, guess what? Bob Ruski was so happy that one person could support him in the whole issue. And get what Bob Ruski did. He bought a Benz for this comedian for ordinary supporting. Can you watch it? I saw the video and then we hope it is not audio. We hope it's not an audio Benz. I don't want any that, that this guy will come outside again and say, hey, 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 no, we don't want, we have, we have enough of publicity drama already. Anyway, congratulations to the guy. Moving on. Um, this is a sad one. A man reportedly known as Mr. Koyode Badu, a Lagos socialite, passed on during the week. Um, according to the news, Mr. Koyode was based in UAE. He flew into Nigeria to celebrate with the students he gave scholarship. And they were graduating because they were graduating. That was why he came into the country. He's not based here. So it was good that this man visited um, a certain celestial church for prayers. And then he was asked to kneel down while surrounded by with seven headers and then several candles were lit around him. And then he was kneeling with, in the middle of the headers with candles lit. He was holding a candle too. The candle was lit as well. 
Then this, um, the prophet of the church, one Mr. Felix Alevi, should spread perfume on his body, and then within a twinkle of an eye, his whole body caught fire. As in, that was how he was rushed to the hospital. From there, he passed on. The story was so, 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 so touching. As in, how, I, I, I just don't know. There's a lot, a lot more about that story because these people, if you claim to be a celestial, you should know about perfumes and candles. I don't get it. Well, I don't know. There's a whole lot more that we do not know about. Anyway, that man has been um, in custody for questioning and all that. They just feel that this man you know, may so rest in peace because. He was a good man, he was a philanthropist, he was all who could, 40 students, we are all on scholarship and they graduated 40. Imagine how many people he has helped in the past and just like that, he lost his life. It was his hard one, I'll tell you. Okay, that's all we have for you today, um, the Celebrity Juice News. Watch out for my next video, thank you so much.